An ABC Action News exclusive now, a Cinderella wedding more than a year in the making, but now the bride and the groom suing. Taking action reporter Jackie Calloway shows us the incident that has a high-end resort, a wedding events business, and the newlyweds facing off in court. Now, Nicholas, you may kiss your bride's double look. I have pretty much been planning my wedding for as long as I can remember. The ceremony, big, traditional, and Greek, went off without a hitch. But the bride and groom never imagined what awaited them at the reception inside a grand ballroom at the Innisbrook Resort. Never in a million years I would have dreamed that this would happen. And then I saw you fall in love. The newlyweds, Stephanie and Nick Karamantzos, were eating dinner when it happened. It seemed like a bunch of people kind of started pointing up towards us and gasping. Gasps from wedding guests who could see what Stephanie and Nick could not. I remember looking up and seeing our cousins sitting directly in front of us and their face, their expressions of just pure horror. Seconds later, a tall backdrop made of aluminum poles, large lanterns and drapes crashed down on the wedding party. First thing I did was kind of stand up to cover her because I didn't want her to get hurt. And then two seconds later, I got hit in the head. Paramedics took Nick to the emergency room where he says doctors confirmed a concussion. The impact sent scattered glass flying into the eye of one of Stephanie's bridesmaids, who they say also went to the ER, and the bride's own sister took a blow to the head. All I saw was a giant lantern swinging back around, nails her in the face. I essentially had to like beg and plead the doctors to let me go to go back to the wedding. Nick and Stephanie returned to their reception about two hours later to discover another disaster. There was a flood going from the restrooms like to the main foyer. The video shows water shooting through the lights flooding the men's bathroom. Soon after, guests say the toilet stopped working in every restroom. I saw it all taped off. I saw sandbags on the floor. Now, according to the couple's records, the families paid $46,000 to Innisbrook, another $20,000 to Concept Bay. What we're talking about here is a total of $66,000, but between the two companies, the couple says they weren't offered anything more than $1,500 and that was for a bar credit from Innisbrook. In January, Stephanie and Nick filed a lawsuit against Innisbrook and Concept Bait for damages exceeding $15,000. I contacted Innisbrook and went to Concept Bait looking for answers. Neither would comment. The bars here are, are stressed or actually sheared. I showed veteran wedding planner Linda Businger pictures of the fallen rails, drapes, and lanterns. It depends on if the person's not putting them in correctly or somebody bumps into them. We never hang anything on, on rails. As for the flooded bathrooms? I just can't imagine that happening all at one night. Linda, who owns LPB Weddings and Events, says it is rare a wedding disaster winds up in court. Giving them back their money is a lot easier and it makes everyone more happy than to go through any kind of a drawn out you know lawsuit so if you're planning a wedding you want to ask about event insurance it covers the unexpected also question the safety of the setup and ask vendors about a backup plan in case the unexpected takes place we just want to make sure nobody has the same issues we had jackie calloway taking action for you and while Concept Bait would not comment on this case in particular, they sent us a statement late today pointing out they've been in business for 20 years and have a goal of ensuring client expectations are met. You can read their full statement on abcactionnews.com. And at this point, no trial date has yet been set. We'll keep following the story and let you know how it turns out.